So you want to talk a little bit about um, what drew you to the show as an actress? You know, doing horror, is it something, you know, horror is scary? Uh, well, on the page it's, it, it's more, I, I wouldn't say horror, and I know that uh, you know, that's kind of the genre of what, what this weekend is about. Um, but when I read it on the page, I thought it was completely intriguing. I couldn't wait to read page after page. And uh, when I knew that Terry O'Quinn was signed on, I knew immediately that uh, he was phenomenal and we would visually make a great pairing uh, to really show a power couple of New York. And, um, and then when I heard the rest of the, the ensemble was cast, uh, it all felt right. I mean, we actually shot it, shooting in New York, knowing that it's going to be a New York show, it would give it that 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 grounded, gritty elegance, um, very similar to how I see it is is the Madoffs. Everyone wanted to be them. Were fascinated by their money. They had the yacht. They had the the Palm Springs house. They had the Hamptons house. They had the penthouse in New York. Nobody knew how they. You know what they were doing with the money and with other people's money, and you could call him pure evil, and a lot of people wished him dead. But that's the kind of power couple I think that Olivia and and Gavin represent in New York, living in, in a landmark building which everybody aspires to live in. Uh, our, our young couple gets in and can't believe that they've got such an amazing gig in this fantastic place. And uh, but there's a price to pay for everything, so it's about power. It's about it's about um, greed, it's about um, promise, it's about temptation, um, all the things that are relevant and always relevant. Dana. So not that different from Desperate Housewives. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in the big city now, yeah. exactly. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, when serial series works, or, you know, dramas work, it's about what you can have and what are they going to do to get it. And uh, we set up the, the, the groundwork for a lot of people have a lot of dreams and aspirations. The opening sequence is what got me. And when I first sat down to read that, I read, I, I saw, you know, close up on violinist hands starting to bleed down the neck of the violin. I was like, what? You know, Olivia and Gavin watch from the balcony. And I'm like, wow, that's me, okay. You know, once he jumps in the, you know, you can see he's wiping his hands, he's sweating. He's, you know, he's grabs his violin, puts it in his case, jumps in a cab, runs to the building, tries to escape. That was in the first three pages. I was like, wow. And it just got better and better. So from the jump off, I knew that it was on the page. I knew that Dave Wilcox had the, the talent to do something. Um, and uh, it's up to him and his writers to make it good every, every, every week. So, you know, we do our best. Yeah, definitely different feel to the acting in, the, in this uh, series for you from Lovely Betty, different houses now to this. There isn't so much of that, um, you know, the thing in the yeah. eye. The, or it's the, getting quieter and quieter yes, and quieter. Yes. Yes. How does that feel for you? <laughs> um, it's different. You know, I, I love um, changing it up like every person does, you know. Uh, Betty was. That he was high camp, high fashion, you know, uh, just you know, high color, high voltage. Uh, Desperate was a little softer because we're dealing with suburbia, but it was still kind of amped up at a certain tone and level. And this is quiet. This is seductive. This is alluring. This is. Um, uh, intriguing and uh, you know you're listening to you're, you're doing second look you know taking a second take about what, what, what did I just hear what did I just feel what, what's down there am I uh, so it's more I think a psychological drama as well uh, it's not as overt do you, do you relate to the sort of open-eyed excitement of that young couple coming to New York maybe in your own career or it's interesting. I'm the only New Yorker out of the whole bunch. I mean, even though Dave grew up in upstate New York, uh, so they're all so excited to actually be working in New York because it's all, always been a dream, even though um, Terry did it back in the day in the 70s. So it's it's funny to hear them all get their apartments and living in the village and you know going to their favorite coffee shop and, and try to you know figure out they're living their dream. Uh, so it's funny to see them being wide-eyed and, and excited to start their new life. Uh, so it's happening for them in the real life. I'm just going back home. <laughs> With a big overarching mystery going forward in this, do you, as an actress, want to know more or less of where things are going? I like to be surprised. Uh, I, 
don't like to kind of tip my hat so the audience knows anything. I like to be completely surprised. Um, and I, I do ask questions when I'm, you know, does she know, does she not know, how, how much does she know what's going on. Uh, and when we shot the pilot, the uh, I would say, you know, is Olivia onto this or something? So just, I said, just, just be nice, just be nice. So I said, okay, I'll be nice, you know. So a lot of, a lot of the direction we were given, probably they didn't know where they're going to take it, but they wanted to make as neutral a playing field as possible. So we had a lot of avenues to jump off on. So uh, I don't know how much we're in cahoots. I don't know if she's just playing the mafia wife and she knows that he's doing stuff like, like Ruth Madoff knew nothing. You know, that kind of thing. Um, or whether they're really two peas in a pod and they're strategizing to get this couple to realize their dreams. Don't know. How is Terry? He's fantastic. Terry is so relaxed, so uh, in between takes. Uh, he's got his guitar and he sits back and crosses his legs and sings a song and you know so there's always music happening. Dave Annabelle is always cracking jokes and wonderful. Rachel is a phenomenal young gifted actress who is from Tasmania, which I always tease her about because everyone thinks says, she's not she's not from Australia, she's from Tasmania. Like she is from, you know, a rough spot in, in the world where I mean not a lot of things survive. So she's uh, you know, she's got that 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 fight and that bite that I think works perfectly for the character. So we got a nice, strong, varied cast. Yeah. <laughs> chemistry with your leading man. Uh, <laughs> do you ever worry about that and how did it work out? I've been so work? lucky. I have really been lucky to have fantastic leading men the past three shows that I've been with that are, are that are plausible. People are like, okay, I, I get it. I can see that. Um, he's, he's formidable. He's strong. He's relaxed. And you could see a woman like Olivia being attracted to him. And you can see them being married. And the thing that I love about it, that ABC has been really great about it, is it's, it hasn't been, none of my parts have been written for a black woman. They've always been the fact that I could make a character Buddhist. And they've trusted me and my talent. And that, that's what we all want. You know, it's not breaking through a barrier. It's like, oh, let's use her. Of course it makes sense. I mean, 20 years ago, probably wouldn't have happened. Or it would have made a much bigger deal. Now, um, no one even says anything, which is fantastic. We've come a long way. I didn't even think about it. Yeah, yeah exactly, which is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I mean, back when I grew up, you know, Julia was uh, Diane Carroll, single black mother as a nurse. You know, interracial dating would have been a huge thing. I mean, I, I sang with Tony Bennett one time, and he was talking about he did a show, and they told and sing with Lena Horne, and he told they were he was told not to give her a kiss. And this is you know back in the day, and that was he, he broke you know broke the barriers when he when he gave her a kiss. You know, so we've come a long way. Thank God. Well, congratulations. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Away.